canola oil is made from rape seeds, right? It's not even made from something that humans really eat. It's blanched and deodorized, highly processed. And canola oil is thought to be, quote, healthy because it has more alpha linolenic acid in it. As I talk about in my book, and as you've talked about, the human body's really miserable at converting alpha linolenic acid to usable omega-3s, EPA and DHA. So why alpha linolenic acid is something we want to tout in flax oil or canola oil is beyond me. But um, that, that's the reason. And this is a, maybe a, a, a good segue to a mini digression. I think that people consider canola oil to be healthy because it lowers LDL. And this is, the, this is the dangerous thing about vegetable oils. And I'd love to talk about this with you. And I think this will be a really interesting conversation. So many of these vegetable oils will lower LDL, won't they? You can, in, oh, you, yes, can they enrich, you can enrich your diet in canola, corn, safflower, or soy, and watch your LDL go down. So what's going on there? I talk about this a little bit in my book, but I'd love to hear your take. So uh, my thought is that what's happening is that the particles are being oxidized and they're not in circulation, so you can't measure them. So, but they're not like politely disappearing. They're actually falling out of circulation and landing on your arteries. So they're actually causing arterial plaque. So that's, that's how I think that this, they lower LDL, they lower it, sure, but they do it by causing exactly what you don't want, which is arterial plaques. Um, and, and I think that uh, the whole idea that LDL really has anything to do with heart attacks, that's a humongous, huge other discussion. But I think part of the confusion or the way that the reason we talk about it in such a silly way is because we talk about cholesterol clogging your arteries, but what really but what really causes fatal heart attacks is fat. And it's the, the, tri, the, the fatty acids that um, are released from your body fat or the triglycerides that have built up in lining in your arteries that are soft and they, um, they are, shouldn't be there and they can actually damage your arteries and make them bleed and cause an immediately fatal heart attack. So, that's, uh, you know, the artery actually is so weakened by these inflammatory fats laying on the inner surface that it causes the artery to, to bleed or to leak and you get a clot. Or the, you can actually have little pieces of this unstable plaque, this soft buttery plaque is how they describe it, um, it, it break off and go downstream and cause small heart attacks or mini heart attacks or small strokes, which we have an epidemic of. They, they talk about how mortality from heart disease, from heart attacks has gone down, but the kind of heart, heart attacks that we have now are dramatically different. We have a, a ton of these mini heart attacks from these little emboli that are happening, and we don't have quite so many of the immediately fatal heart attacks that you can't save because the person's dead by the time they hit the ground because their artery in their heart has bled and clotted and very few people can survive that kind of abrupt change in blood flow and the arrhythmias that follow. So, um, so that's my take on the seed oil, vegetable oil, polyunsaturated fatty acid oil, lowering LDL, why it does absolutely nothing for health or mortality. What, and, and this, you know, it's, it's, if it does anything, it should make us understand that lowered LDL is really not meaningful. It just doesn't matter. It's more of a reflection of whether or not you're fasting or whether or not you're burning your body fat than anything else. 